Okay, so if you are trying to make a admin view system inside of Roblox Studio, this is exactly what you are going to need to do. So we're going to be using my website linked in the description for all the code. Once again, this will be copy and pasteable. You can alter it if you know a bit of coding yourself. But starting off inside of Roblox Studios, the very first thing we're going to need to do is make sure our game is saved. Now, you don't need to publish it, but you do need to save it. So we can just click Control S, name it whatever. So admin panel test, since I have multiple other admin videos, we're going to save it and it is going to obviously save and most likely I believe close. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So once again, my website will be linked in the description. So you can go and check that out. So we're going to be using all the codes from this, but the very for oh my bad, sorry. The very first thing we're going to be doing is coming on over to replicated storage. So we're going to create these four remote events. These are going to be the necessary ones. So the first one is going to be a called a global message. So I'm going to quickly just create four remote events. Now, the first thing we're going to rename as on the website is going to be called global message. Now I'm literally copy and pasting these off from my website. Once again, this is in the description. So you can just select them here, back over here, rename them. And this is exactly what they need to be named in order for it to even function. So now we're going to have these four names right here. So we're going to have global message, admin global message, admin action. And we're going to just start off with a luck admin global system. So this is going to admin abuse, increase luck throughout the server. So this is in fish, all sorts of other ones. Pretty much, obviously, whenever you click the button, it is going to increase every server's luck by what well, we're going to start off with is 2x. So it's going to double and it is going to compound double. Now you can make it whatever you want, right? Where you can select and change the announcement page, but this is just going to be the starting little design. Now on to the website linked in the description, there's a bit more you're going to need to know. So the first thing is in server script service, we're going to come on down to server script service and we're going to create a module script. Now we're going to call this the luck manager. So rename it, especially do make sure you rename the file to luck manager. Now luck manager is going to actually deal with this. So luck manager, let's go ahead and copy this code. This is going to manage the luck since it's the admin abuse. Now for most part, whenever you want to create an individual admin abuse. So if you have your own animation, all that stuff, you can interlink that together, but you're going to need to create the server script service module script for that. Now, the next thing is going to be the server script service admin panel server. So I'm going to copy that real fast server script service. This is going to be a normal script, rename it to the admin panel, just copy the code, paste this all in. Now this looks pretty nice. Now the next one is going to be a bit bigger. So this is going to be the admin panel. So this is going to be a client. So you're going to come on down to starter player, starter player scripts. We're going to add in a local script. It's going to be called the admin panel client. So we're going to paste this one in real fast, copy code. Now this one is a very lengthy script. So we got all of this working stuff. So what you should have before you get into this is the global message, admin global message, admin action and luck update in the replicated storage. Then you're going to need the admin panel server, the luck manager and the admin panel client code. Now what is going to be left is we're just going to click play. And so this is how this is going to work. So the first thing is, is finally, once you're in, you're going to get this bit of an admin panel. Now there is a glitch whenever you click this white bar. So this white bar is going to allow you to move this around. Now, obviously I'm working on fixing this. It is like sometimes it just stops letting you select it. But so this is what we're looking at. So this panel right here is going to do all this. So this is going to be the first server luck one and the announcement one. So to get this rolling, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you do have all of the replicated storage, all this stuff set up properly. So, okay, I had to tweak something real fast. Once again, this, <laughs> this will be the working one. Uh, it was messed up, but okay. Once again, I will fix the code on the website by mistake. So whenever you play, um, I just had to change that. Now you'll click F2 and you'll have this admin panel. So just going to quickly drag this also hopefully fix this weird teleporting bug with the panel. Now, obviously you can make it to where it's a whole uh, menu drop down, but boom, if you click server luck, it'll say global announcement server luck was doubled and it'll have a five minute timer on the two X. Now you can change this, but when you click it again, it is going to double again and reset the timer and it'll continue to double from there. Now the announcement, this goes to every single server. You're going to say, what is up? and it sends a little pop-up just like that. Now, you can change the UI. It's really, really simple to change the UI. Pretty much, you just go into the admin panel client in the admin panel server and just adjust it however you want. You can even use, I believe, the uh, assistant already built in if you don't want to you know, fiddle around with it that way. But once again, this is the full working code. It works very, very well. All of this will be on my website linked in the description. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I will make sure to answer to them. If you have any questions, problems, or anything like that, I'll make sure to respond as fast as I can. But if this helped you out, make sure to leave a like and I will see you on the next